Well, good morning. I'm Jessica Nall, and this Wednesday morning, we have a bit of celebrating to do. Virginia this morning turns 10 on October 2nd. That's coming up this weekend. But you know our style here. We like to celebrate whenever we can. So today's all about ringing in the 10th anniversary of Virginia this morning. And you know, all we got right, a lot of friends right, and family right. in this show. Whoa. There Happy he is. Bring in the party. Yay. There we go, baby. Where's my bell? Where's I need the, it. Oh, man, we didn't bring the bell today. We got some champagne. That's all right. Okay, make it happen, make it Herb. Happen. Watch out. Go. Watch your ass. Go. Woo, there it is. Celebrating 10 years, 10th anniversary here in Virginia this morning. A lot of friends and family and special guests this morning, hey. like the one we're going to see right now. We're sending it over to you, Greg and Julie. What? We're dry over here. <laughs> we can change that. Her, there's only yeah. one room hey, to go around. Check his pockets. I think he has some Crown Royale right there in the front <laughs> it's pocket. Right there. He always does. Nobody told me about I'll, that. I'll bring part some of the show. over. I'll bring it over. I'll Happy bring it Wednesday. Over. Come on over here. <laughs> I'm bringing Come, it let's on. Let's just do it. it All four of us. Here it is. Party dress. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. 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 in this morning. Who's they? I was seeing it easy. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Memories. Hi, I'm Greg McQuaid. And I'm Julie Bragg. It's been too long. Way too long. You know, we had the pleasure of co-hosting this great show together. And we had so much fun. Did we? And just became the best of friends. Look at this picture right here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what did happen to my hair? What was that, circa 67? I think it was. <laughs> my word of word. I hope my hairdresser's watching. <laughs> and all things that start was not her, was with the beginning. Isn't that right, Cheryl and Bill? That's right. <laughs> It did start with the beginning. Hi, I'm Bill Bevins. And good morning, I'm Cheryl Miller. On, we were the girl. show's original host when Virginia This Morning began 10 years ago, October 2nd, 2006. Back then, if you remember, winding the clock back 10 years ago, mm -hmm. we actually started at 10 a.m. We were yes, 10 o'clock in the morning show. We had so much fun, and it did get us started. We didn't know what we were doing, but we were having a lot of fun. I don't remember having champagne on the first show. No, that waits till the 10th <laughs> year, so the fact that we made it 10 years... And Bill and I started together. They put us together, but we had been together a lot before that. We'd been friends for 30 years 30 now. years, yes. We've been working together, and that was a great start. And we actually uh, reached out to a local musician who actually wrote the original theme for our That's show. That's right. Which was it's fantastic. called Morning Joy, yeah. and we're going to see that in just a second. Coming up at the end of this week, we're actually going to have one of our first guests back with us, Elliot Yamin. Remember wow. that? That's going to be great. He was hot off of American Idol at that time 10 years ago, still doing well in his career. He's going to be here with us on the show on Friday to help us celebrate our 10th anniversary as we're well. We're not going to have bloopers, are we? Well, you never know. It's an hour <laughs> show, so you want to stick with us this morning. Let's take a look at how it all began here on Virginia This Morning. Good morning, Virginia. This is Virginia This Morning with Cheryl Miller and Bill Bevins. And good morning. It is Monday, October 2nd, and I'm Cheryl Miller. And I'm Bill Bevins. You're watching Virginia This Morning. This is our very first morning with you. So thanks so much for tuning us in and inviting us into your home. And welcome to our new home, which is furnished by Our House Furniture. This is the beginning of a great adventure for all of us, and we are so excited to tell you that Richmond's own American Idol finalist, Elliot Yamin, is joining us today. Yeah. we got a studio <laughs> audience. They're not here for us. They're yeah. here for Elliot Yamin. Give a big round of yeah. applause. Yeah. I got here this morning. I got here and I'm going, all these people are here. And I'm like, isn't that sweet? They yeah. came down to see us. No, no, not so much. No. no. But, uh, we are going to be talking a lot about things that are happening. In oh, oh, my gosh. All of us have been like, can you remember? I need some, I need some just for men. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I want to know where that old couch is. Is oh, it in anybody's gosh. living room? Goodwill it's in Bill's man cave. Oh, that's right. That's right. That you couch swallowed that. some guests. That's yes. right. It did. We I think Elliot Young, that's where we found him today. He it was, was in the couch. <laughs> <laughs> That was a, an amazing uh, start, obviously, working with Cheryl. And as she mm -hmm. said a moment ago, we'd worked together for years before that. Yeah. And uh, Jessica was there at the very beginning. Actually, I think probably this whole thing was part of her idea. And um, what an undertaking. I remember very clearly when we started talking about it, saying, you guys aren't really going to try to do this. Because local TV didn't do stuff like that. And, and a lot of times anymore. they still don't do that. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that was a huge undertaking to, to even and try to do that and um I think it turned out pretty well. I think it did. You know, when the credits roll, a lot of people, the first credit comes up, executive producer Jessica Null 
Explain what an executive producer does. I, in, a, in the short terms, I see it as a showrunner, which means you solve the problems, you anticipate the problems, and you coordinate. And it's basically like a project manager. And 10 years ago, 11 years ago, they came and said, we want to do this concept for a show. It's an old concept, but it'll be new again. And there's so many great things to feature here that aren't regularly being featured. So go figure out a way to do that. And I said, well, I like a challenge. Why not? <laughs> and so Virginia This Morning was, was born. And it's such a personal experience for me, especially going back and looking through all of these memories and clips and working with all of you guys, because there's been a lot over the years in terms of just blood, sweat, and tears personally that have, have brought this here. It's been so much fun. You know, a lot of the artists, a lot of the authors, musicians that do come into our studio, they travel the country. And they said there is unlike anything else that they have seen right now. And it's on Virginia this morning. Yeah. No other city has it. We have it right here. That's right. We're taking a look back at some of our favorite moments from the past. That's right. Over the past 10 years, we've had about 5,500 or so guest wow. segments on our show. That's <laughs> thousands of guests, each one sharing a story, a talent, a moment with us and with you at home. Well, we're sharing some of those memories here on our show today. Our first week back in 2006, one of my favorite people and Bill's people stopped by. Mm -hmm. uh, we've known him for almost 20 years now. He's still known as America's romantic piano sensation, Jim Brickman. We even brought in a grand <laughs> piano, had it delivered right here to the studio so that he could play for you. Take a listen. Jim has been with us on the show coming back and forth over the years because Richmond is one of his favorite places to be mm -hmm. and he said he could not not be here with us to kick off the show 10 years ago. That's how important it was. And look at technically, if you remember when we were in SD you had those two <laughs> bars right there oh, yeah. and now yeah. we're in high def. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when you said we have the chance to have Jim Brickman and, and in that first year that was a very big deal. Now can we find a grand piano? I thought how do you get a grand piano in the studio? We did, clearly it happened. Turn it on That's its side. Right. Yeah. Slid it through the door. <laughs> <laughs> that front door oh, that yes, goes out to Bronze Street. That's right. Yeah. But getting someone to deliver one was the... Oh, there you go. We had the door. <laughs> well, the problem was getting it out of here. That's right. <laughs> Without right. messing and, it up. And of course, over the years, we've had so many celebrities come through, and we get a chance to meet people that we admire. And that happened just about six years ago for me when Felicia Rashad came by. I mean, you know, she is such an icon when it comes to television. She's a Tony Award winning actress. She's been in movies, and, and everybody knows Claire Huxtable. And she came in and I'm looking across the couch and she's here in the yeah. studio with us. <laughs> uh, so let's take a look at that clip. This is from uh, 2010, April. You're just back from London. Yes. After a six month stint, what were you doing over there? Cat on a hot tin roof. Oh, that old. <laughs> with James Earl Jones and Sanaa Lathan. Adrian Lester, it was great. And my sister Debbie directed it, so. Yeah. yeah. I just saw her the other night. She was on uh, American Idol. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Dancing with the Stars. I mean, I'm, that's right, Dancing with the Stars. You're right, yes. doing her, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> doing her thing. <laughs> From fame. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So you're looking forward to Felicia this? Felicia was in town at that time to support her friend, Tim Reed, and his Legacy Media Institute, which is still going strong today. Wasn't it just starting around that time, or it was still relatively new? Mm -hmm. It had been up and running for about a year or so, and he was bringing, and still does bring in celebrities celebrities and, and uh, movies and films and, and things to help build the uh, community of people who can do this in our community. Quick memory about Felicia. Uh, after that segment during a commercial break, I uh, said mom is a very big fan. Would you mind saying hello to her up in Boston? So I dialed my mom's number. You did? Felicia did not get a word in. She just kept talking. I see and I that. I know your mom. to grab the phone from Felicia. It's like, okay, mom. And she just thought she kept talking to Felicia yeah. Rashad. But it was such a treat to meet Claire Huxtable. Yeah. 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 Sometimes it is surreal seeing is. some of these people in here that we get to bring to y'all. Now let's take a look back at one of my favorite memories. Happy birthday to you. A Richmond icon has a birthday today, and it also has a fantastic view. Ladies and gentlemen, we are atop one of the great places in Richmond, Virginia, on its 80th birthday. Yes, this is the Carillon, and we are taking a look at some of the most beautiful scenery you'll see anywhere in this part of the world, thanks to a wonderful place called the Carillon. But before we go up to ring the bells, let's meet the man who makes the music on this giant 240-foot-tall 
musical instrument. His name is Larry Robinson, and we ask him his official title. I'm the city caroliner. Uh -huh. uh, the reason for giving me that title was so that they could uh, give me a key to the building. <laughs> <laughs> and how long have you been playing the bells here? Well, I started in the summer of 1960 and uh, <laughs> been playing ever since. So uh, at that time, I was uh, not really, I would not call myself a caroliner. I was helping out someone else who then moved away. And uh, so then I was sort of left with it and decided I'd better learn some things about it. One of the things I learned is one bell, that's one bell, weighs 11,000 pounds. And the 50-plus bells that were installed in the early 30s all still work, just like the original elevator that took us up to the seventh floor where we sat down at the giant keyboard and I made a request for, you guessed it, happy birthday, big number 8-0. From words written a long time ago about this World War I memorial, their banners flew in stricken fields of war-swept France mid shot and shell, and for each sold today a bell in love and peace and beauty peals. And the bell tolls really loud. This is a very special place in Richmond, Virginia, a place that is unlike any other and very few in America. But today is its birthday and we wanted to bring you up here for this view so you could wish happy birthday to the Carillon from all of us on Virginia this morning. And yes, I don't do well with heights. <laughs> Let's go back to the studio now. That was great. Well, you, you know, may not do well with heights, but you do well with stories. That, that was, was a uh, story. you know, uh, Stacy Sacred did a fantastic job uh, of filming that for us. It, it was so loud. <laughs> ears are still ringing six it's years still later. Still ringing all these years later. One of the favorite things I like about this job is do we get to meet these amazing people? Music's a huge part of my life. So when we get to meet musicians and then actually see something like that, uh, you. You can't pay, uh, I would pay for that, yeah. you know? I'll pay y'all to let <laughs> me do that. So that was That was such a treat. Well, you get an opportunity to meet people and go places that everyday people don't. And we get to bring it to, to everybody exactly. watching at home. Yeah. It's fantastic. The nice thing yeah. about the admission to this show, it's free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, this right here to my left is one of my favorite people right here, the lovely Julie Bragg. We've had... Such a great time both on and off the camera, Julie. Yes, and I miss it. We had so much fun. The feeling is so mutual. Coming up, I was able to dig up a few of my favorite memories. It was almost like there were so many I couldn't come up with one or two. It was tough. <laughs> Other than that hair. Crazy. All right, Virginia this morning. And lots of it. It's coming back. It's coming back. Teased. All right, we'll be right back. Happy 10.